Hi, welcome back everyone. Today is the 22nd of February 2021 and the market has fallen quite a fair bit. Most of the stock has fallen off from the high which is good and bad news to me because I'm holding some stock. So my stock is in a losing position. I need to be selling some call to recruit from the losses. But because the market has come down, so that give me another new set of opportunity to sell put. So I did a bunch of trade today and let's just go through some of it, but I'll just roughly go through. Let's take a look at the call first because when I'm selling a call, that means I own the stock. So the first trade is AMD. I sell a 92 call. And all this trade here, I'm doing for next Friday and not this Friday. And some of the trade I did it for the 19th of March expiry because these are the monthly option. And we'll talk about that in a while so for the rest that has a weekly option i'm doing next friday instead of this friday because as the market has come down so this friday premium wasn't as great especially for the call side and my rule of thumb is always to go for one percent premium a week so i wanted to get two percent premium if i'm going to next week but you can see some of the trade here for example, the AMD trade, I'm selling a 92 call for $1.16. That is going to next Friday and that is less than 2%. It's just slightly over 1%. But we need to give and take here a little bit because some of the trade, I can get it for more than 1%. So for AMD, I can't and I have to give and take. And I want to sell a call because I own the stock. If I do nothing, then I won't be getting or generating any income from it. Okay, by selling a 92 call, or for the matter of fact, by selling a call, then you limit the upside potential. That is true because when we are doing a wheel and doing a covered call, whenever you sell a call, you limit the upside potential. But that is how the wheel strategy is about and how we trade it so for the amd 92 call i sell it for one dollar and 16 cent and this is my amd trade so my current average price for amd is 85 dollar and 20 cent so even if i close it now there's still a profit to be made and then for a new call because i own the new stock so I'm selling a 58 call because I own the stock at 58. I don't want to sell anything below 58. And in fact, if you look at the 58 call going into next Friday expiry, I sell it for $3.10. That is about 6 or 7% return for new because at $55 or $53, and I can sell it for $3, that is about 6-7%. So some of this trade, I get 6%. And for the AMD, I'm only getting 1% plus. So we have to give and take a little bit. And my current new position is this. By selling a 58 call for $3.10, you can look at the past trade. A lot of call, I sell it for 1%. That's 88 cent, 59 cent, 89 cent, all this. And this particular call, I can sell it for $3.10. And that bring my average price down very low to $47.02 for the new. And what happened if the new go up to 65? Then I lose the upside potential from 58 to 65, but I think that's okay. And then I'll restart the wheel on new again. And then for the rest of the trade, I own the FSR 500 shares, so I sell 5 call at the 25 strike for 27 cent each. And then for the UAVS, I sell the 15 call. And for Apple, I'm selling the next week call for only 49 cents, so that is only about half a percent. 
going into next Friday, then why should I sell it? If I don't sell it, then I can't even be earning the 49 cents. By selling this call, I give up the potential that Apple will go above 136. But that happened for the rest of the call as well. Like I say, I want to be generating some income on the stock that I hold. And then for the other trade, I'm going into put because I don't own the stock. So IPOE, I'm selling the 20 put for 90 cent. Wolf, I'm selling the 22.5 put for $1.55. And Unity, U, I'm selling the 100 put for $1.40. And Open, 27 put for $2.12. Fubo, I'm going into the next Friday option again. If you look at Fubo, 35 put, I sell it for $2.15. So at 35 put, I sell it for $2.15. That is about 7% return. So some of the trade, I get 1%. So some of this trade, I get more than 2%. So give and take a little bit. I think I'm hitting about 1% a week for all this. And then for the NNDM, I sell two contract for the $12.50 put for $1.77 each. And for Blink, I sell a 39 put for $1.32. So if you add up all this premium today, then the total premium that I collected today is $2023. I don't know about you, but that is quite a fair bit of money to me, especially for a small account like mine. That is quite a big sum to me. Of course, the option don't expire next Friday because some of this is a monthly option. So all these options will expire two weeks to four weeks. Those that has a weekly option, then it will expire next Friday. And the rest of it is a monthly option that expire on the 19th of March. But $2,000 of worth of premium, to me, I think that's great. And we are look forward to the trade in the next one or two weeks. And I don't think I will have any more new position for the next two weeks. And for this week, I don't have any option that is expiring except for Palantir and Palanton, PLTR and PTON. These are the trade that I sell last week. So I sell into this week. So this will expire on Friday and depend on where the market is. I may be assigned. I may not be assigned. And then I will see if there's a new trade to be done for these two stock. Other than that, I don't think I'll be opening new position for the coming two weeks. I may update if there is a new position going on. And for this next two week, I will be discussing more on strategy. Since I don't have any trade to do, then I'll be discussing some strategy around the option view, selling put and covered call. And we talk about some other technical stuff. So that is the plan for the next two weeks and I'll monitor all these positions. So as you can see, I have a bunch of stock here that I need to watch. And I pretty much lost track on a lot of trade. Just like the NNDM, I actually lost track on my previous two trade. But I believe if I watch back my video, I should be able to find the trade back but that is not important to me. So I will just follow up from here. These are the current trade that I do for NNDN. As long as I was watching my trade and I can control my position, that's fine. And let's see what the market will do in the next one or two weeks. So if you have any topic that you would like me to discuss, please drop me a comment. Hi, I'm back again and it is still the 22nd 
of February 2021 and because I just noticed that the new has fallen off quite a bit new has dropped about two dollar and seventy or eighty cent today and my current new position if you have followed me before you know that on the 17th of February 2021 I sell a 50 put that expired this Friday this coming Friday for 55 cent because I wanted to collect the extra 1% premium so I did a double wheel on new and this is the video that I did a double wheel episode number 23 you can go and watch it uh, double wheel strategy so right now I want to do a rolling that means I don't want to get a sign at $50 for new for my second wheel the second set of new trade I don't want to get a sign at 50 because when I did this trade on the 17th of February I think 50 is a good level to average down but now I changed my mind I don't want 50 I think 50 will not be a good time to average down instead I want uh, 45 so let's see what we can do here because now the put is going to cost me about one dollar and five cent and let's take a look at the next Friday option then I think I can do a row so I'm going to do the trade first and probably explain the logic at the later stage so I'm going to buy back my 50 put option to close out this position so I close out this 50 put position for $1.26 that means I pay money to close it up. And I want to go into next week at the 45 strike and sell a put option next week at 45 because I pay out $1.26. So now by selling it at $1.60 and minus off away $1.23 so I collected about maybe 30 or 40 cent but now I can get to buy new at 45 instead of 50 new continue to drop below 50 by next Friday that is how we actually do rolling and sometimes we can change the mind so I close this out at $1.26 and today I open a new put position that is in fact rolling So if you see here, then my new average price will be what is seven dollar and two cent. I need to plus because I close out the trade for one dollar and twenty six cent, and then I will minus away the new put option that is one dollar and sixty cent. So my average price is lower a bit, forty six dollar and sixty eight cent. So I removed the risk temporarily from 50 to 45 because I just changed my mind that I want to own another 100 share of new at 45. I don't want to own it at 50. That happened very often when I'm doing my real strategy. I change my mind all the time. So thank you for following me through 
and yes today I'm done and getting a little bit tired so if there's any topic that you want me to discuss please drop me a comment and if you like the video please share and subscribe thank you very much have a nice day everyone and I will update the trade as we go along thank you